Hello everyone, this is Rupesh and you're watching CB Beginners video series on linked list interview questions. And this question is about find if there is a loop in the linked list. So as you can see that there is no uh, last node in our linked list because this is going to be the first node because this is head from here will start. But if you see here, we don't have any head, sorry, tail node because it, it's around here and it can be very big. There can be made millions of millions of nodes in between these nodes. So don't think that, okay, it looks very trivial. No, it's actually not a trivial job to find a loop in the linked list. So I will not talk about a, a okay solution, good solution, better solution, best solution. No, I'll talk about the best solution only. So there is something called tortoise and hair problem. So this is a turtle and this is a rabbit. This is a very famous problem or so many people know this problem with Floyd cycle finding algorithm. Maybe if I'm writing correct, cycle finding algorithm. So what we're going to learn is Floyd's cycle finding algorithm or it is called tortoise and hare problem also. So basically what we do here, we maintain two pointers. There are so many linguist problems can be solved with the two pointer problem, right? Sorry, but it is true. <laughs> Okay, so we can have two pointers, P1 and P2. Now, as I said, this is a tortoise and hare problem. So tortoise means one pointer will go one by one like this. So let's make this P1 go one by one and P2 being a hare, it will jump one node and directly reach to the another node. And from here, it won't go here, it will directly go here okay let me do the color coding here it will be very good so let's make this p2 here so as p2 will directly jump p2 will jump like this and from here it will go here oh from here it will go here and p1 will do its job one by one it is not going to jump or do any sort of thing no now you might be wondering that okay what is the big deal here i mean if they are doing this job how they are going to find it so the idea is when p1 and p2 both are moved like p1 came here first time and p2 went here then you will check p1 equal to equal to p2 if this condition is true means there is a loop so what i mean to say is if there is a loop eventually there will be a time when both P1 and P2 are at same node. So this condition will hold true then. And simultaneously you will have to check P1 and P2 are not pointing to null also because there can be two situations, right? One is this where there is a last node. Let's suppose this is your list and this is your problem one and problem two can be like this. What we are discussing right now, there is a loop, okay? So this is our problem, right? We have loop here. So in this case, P1 and P2 will reach to the null. So we have to check whether P1 and P2 are not null. Then only we should go for this condition, right? And if this is the case, there is actually a loop, then there won't be a null here, okay? Because there is always a node pointing to another node. So always remember, this is how it is being calculated, tortoise and hair. Hey guys, time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return, you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. Our fluid cycle finding algorithm works like this. Two pointers, one will go fast and another one will go slow. So like this video, I'm telling you like this. This is how like look like, okay? So just go ahead and do it. I have seen people not liking, just watching and going and if you're new to the channel please subscribe so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos guys take care bye bye i don't know why it is not looking like like <laughs>
okay i should make it like this i'm not that good in drawing okay then see you bye bye